Good morning, it's Friday, April 12th, I believe. Brad and I are going to inspect our new nukes as well as check our original hive. It is inspection day. So Brad's just taken off the supers on the nuke, which is where we have additional um, syrup for them. You should just be able to take off everything from the top, Brad. Oops, just leave that in there. They're really building a comb up here. Oh, they're building comb. I would have just left those in there and just take everything off I'm from sorry. here. I'm just I'm taking a part. Look at the comb they've built there. Yeah. That's their stairway up to their food, so they're not going to like him taking that lid off. Right. And it's nice white wax, which means they have should be framing out a lot of these frames. Oh, that's pretty. Turn it up that way when you lay it down on top of the super on top of the super there you go oh our girls look very busy this looks like a nice start to this nuke this new colony brad's gonna check i wouldn't take that stairway out brad why don't you check one of the end new one of their ends there you go yeah just see that they've got it all framed out and if they've got any new activity on that. We want to verify that our queen is in here because we never did see her. So, in order to verify that she's there without spotting her, we have to go look for brand new eggs. And activities on a newer frame should be where she's at because she already had the center frames pretty well built out with babies on them. That would be a good frame to examine very closely. You bring that to me if you can. There's a lot of uh, eggs on that side and I see some larvae. Yep, I do too on this side, they're different. Do you see new cells? You don't spot the queen, right? Yeah, I don't need it. I don't the queen. They're happy. Make sure you put that back exactly the way you had it. Nice. Nice, slow movements. Now we'd like to pull out one of our frames that we put in there, closest to theirs, um, just to see if they've combed anything out on it. I'm going to switch positions because I'm starting to get buzzed over here. All right, they're working. They're working. Are they combing it out? Yeah, it's starting to. Oh yeah, they've got that side really well done. There's nothing in it. Turn it around. This is just okay. Starting. Perfect. Beautiful. Getting, so they're getting. working. They're working their little tails off. And as we can see that that is a white wax. And there's even honey in it over here. There's honey all around. So they're getting ready to put some babies in that. So they're doing well. Let's go ahead and give these a dose of probiotics. You know I do more. And um, I have the camera running if you want to just grab it from me with your odd hand. We're going to feed them 
a probiotic that allows their guts to get strong, keeping uh, the varroa mite at bay. And the nemosis is what you're after, not so much the varroa mites. We just want everything healthy. It's like feeding them yogurt. They call it bee yogurt. It's bee yogurt. And I'm going to leave it all over the frames and everything because they'll walk on it and they'll eat it. And that just gave them something really nice to do. I assume they're thanking us and not buzzing us. They're a very calm hive thus far. Very nice. I really like their little spot there. I don't think I'm going to touch the stairway to the honey jar or to the to the feeding station. So I'm going to try to leave that there for them. I'll put it together I'm going to practice with one glove. Oops, I really can't do that. Can I? You gotta lift it up. Try to get it back over there a little. Very nice girls. Very nice. We're going to have to fix them. We're going to keep feeding these girls until they have framed out and started producing on each one of these 10 frames, which is a lot of work for them. They have to have the right amount of sugar in order to do their combing to, uh, and to stimulate their, their wax glands. So I'm going to top these off since I'm sure we'll be busy over the weekend our new units that are coming in tomorrow. So these will have had their first inspection recorded and had their first feeding of probiotics, which we'll do seasonally for them now as long as this hive is alive. Okay, so hive number six, I am calling a success thriving new colony the Jilly Bee's Apiary. Then, 